What is going on everyone? Tonight, I am back at Cowfish. We did a review about two years ago from here and I think it's time for a refresh. Unfortunately, Taylor's not here. She doesn't get to enjoy the goodness of Cowfish because it is probably one of the best restaurants here in City Walk, uh, located at the Universal Resort. But I am here with uh, some good friends. We have been on their podcast before, Dave and Adam. Uh, they do Unrelated at Birth. They kind of talk about pretty much Disney stuff, um, theme parks, anything really. So we have just ordered appetizers. They have arrived to, arrived to the table and uh, we're gonna devour them probably uh, because like I said, I already know that this is pretty much a, a slam dunk, but we'll try it out and see. All right, well, I am Dave Adams, as we call on my podcast, the human jukebox, the golden voice of the South. Uh, I have got the Parmesan bacon truffle fries, house fries with truffle and Parmesan cheeses, applewood bacon and chives. And if just the fries alone are amazing, but then you add everything else in that, I don't know how this food is gonna be here in about five minutes. Hey guys, it's Adam, the phenomenal brother. Um, totally gonna to dig into these fried pickles. They come with two fancy sauces, ranch and ketchup and mayo. I believe that's called an aioli, if you wanna be fancy, right? So we're gonna see how these fried pickles are compared to Dave's fries and which one's better. And Josh, who doesn't wanna talk about it, who doesn't trust me with the camera, but uh, he got the Dion's OMG roll. It's the uh, tempura coconut shrimp, Kani, English cucumber inside coated in tempura flakes, topped with fresh mango, avocado, spicy honey marmalade, and coconut flakes. It looks really good. So uh, yeah, we're gonna stop talking and eat now. So as you can see, I, uh, I demolished my, my sushi. I didn't eat the potato things. I mean, you saw me try it, but it didn't really work out that way. Um, so I had the high class hillbilly southern style barbecue sheet. It is barbecue, basically, in sushi form. Uh, pulled pork with caramelized onion and barbecue sauce. Potato wrapped and fl uh, flash fried, topped with homemade bacon, coleslaw, and chives. I got it without the coleslaw. I'm not a big coleslaw fan. But um, it, I'm a big barbecue aficionado, I guess you'd say. Being from Alabama, we know our barbecue. And that might be some of the best barbecue I've had outside of Alabama and the, the, deep, the true deep south. So yeah guys, as someone from the state of Alabama, I should be able to give a pretty good review on fried pickles. And they were really good. They kind of had like a crispy tempura on the outside. So you got the saltiness of the pickle, real crunch on the outside, so it was nice texture. And then that was actually a horseradish aioli. When you get a little bit of that in there, it gives it a little bit of a punch. When you get it, the, the ranch was nice and creamy. So overall, I'd say the fried pickles were a success. Then I got the fusion bento box, and it had Thai cucumbers, edamame, a small slider, sweet potato fries, and I got three pieces of salmon nigiri. You could get either sushi or nigiri, and salmon nigiri is one of my favorite things in the world, so I got that. All of it was pretty good, not crazy about the edamame, but that's probably choose your own adventure on that one, whether you like it or not. The Thai cucumbers were really good. Um, a couple of them were pretty spicy, but they still had a really good flavor to them. The sweet potato fries were excellent, nice and crunchy, especially if you dip those in the soy sauce with wasabi. That worked together better than I thought it would, and that's how I ate most of them. Uh, but the nigiri was, again, my favorite thing. It was the best part. The salmon's nice and creamy. The rice actually stuck together through several grabs and bites, so it was pretty easy to eat. It helped me enjoy it a lot more because I didn't make a mess. So overall, I think my meal was a success. I'm not as clever as these guys, so I'm gonna pull the menu up. So the appetizer that we got, which was the uh, Dion's Own G roll, was fantastic. I didn't know, I didn't really think that I would like it being so sweet, uh, but it actually really added that punch to the sushi, which I think like elevated. I mean, it, it, it just popped, which is really nice. Um, and it was a good balance between the avocado and the, uh, the, the mango, like salsa basically. I mean, it was, the whole thing was great. We still have two pieces left. I was kind of like waiting to see if they were gonna grab it. <laughs> they don't. 
I'm gonna get it. But then for my actual like meal, my entree, I got the All-American Bacon Double Cheese Burgushi, which is a seasoned prime black Angus beef, yellow cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese, apple wood, bacon wrapped, soy paper, uh, and potato strings. And then it's flash fried, and it is topped with, there goes my can, dill pickles, red onion, roma tomato, served over our house-made cowfish sauce, and topped with ketchup and mustard. It's a ton there. A lot of ingredients in there, but it actually, if you don't know, basically it is a burger that they have turned into a sushi roll. It's amazing, um, and it was fantastic. It was really good, a great balance. Nothing really overpowered anything else. Uh, it was literally like eating a cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger without the bun, and it was it was phenomenal. So I would highly recommend that you come and get it. Uh, 17 bucks, not terrible, so pretty good. Apparently there's a word going around that we may be getting milkshakes. I'm not sure that that's been confirmed yet, but we'll see. So peer pressure works wonders. <laughs> we were talked into doing milkshakes, and I got the good old fashioned standby cookies and cream because I was gonna do a s'mores one, and then Josh said, oh man, and I, I was gonna be a good Southern boy and just you know say, all right, here you go, you can have the good one. And you're gonna see in a minute how good Josh's look. But cookies and cream, it tastes amazing. It's, it's Oreos and cream, you can't go wrong. So they asked the waiter what his top three milkshakes were. They ordered two of the three, I wasn't gonna get one. And then I figured let's just round out the trifecta and go for all three that he recommended. So I've got the Nutty Cow, which is chocolate, nuts, and Nutella mixed in. So first sip, I get a lot of chocolate, so we'll see if the Nutella kicks in, but I'm excited. So I got the uh, Give Me More S'mores Shake. It comes with uh, vanilla ice cream with double dark chocolate marshmallows, crunchy graham crackers, and topped with the top of the top of the top of the toasted marshmallow. And uh, I just got nailed with ketchup from across the way. This has never happened to me while I've been in a restaurant doing a review. It's so good, but I am so full. I think I gulped it all in one sip but it's it's amazing i mean you can't you can't mess up an oreo milkshake cookies and cream it's good <laughs> i agree no my uh food was great as always with cowfish totally enjoyed it flying ketchup good conversation great milkshake to end the meal i literally have hurt myself i've eaten so much so definitely a good time we enjoyed it so uh yeah good meal milkshake was great uh, even though I had a slight delay in getting to try it, it was still good. Hey, how's that uh, marathon training going? <sighs> it's coming. It's coming. Hey, listen, you got to eat calories to burn calories later, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Hey, be all right. But uh, overall, great meal. Um, definitely would recommend that you guys come and try Cowfish out if you haven't yet. It is one of the better restaurants here in City Walk. Yeah, I think that's all there is. I, I don't really know what else to say. Usually Taylor ends these videos by saying something like, let us know if you've ever, ever eaten here at Cowfish before. Something like that. 